It's on the other side? Namibia. Okay, so right now we're in Botswana. Mm -hmm. And if we were, felt like it, we could take a just swim. Just swim and just be in Namibia. Right. No. Let's do it. No, we're going to fly. No, we're going to fly there. You're going to fly there and we can walk over there? Yeah. I don't know what's in the water. The hotel is probably somewhere. If we walk long <laughs> enough, we find a hotel. We're going to fly all the way over. That's yeah. right there. No, I'm going right. to fly. <laughs> Hello, hello. Welcome once again to African Travel and More. Now, in today's video, I'm taking you through Chobe National Park in Botswana. Chobe National Park is an absolute must when you go to Botswana. So come along. Let's check out Chobe National Park. Let's go. Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, mm. without any passport, okay? And uh, <laughs> rules and regulations, folks, uh, we are not allowed to do off-road. If we spot something far from the road, mm -hmm. we won't go close. Of course we will. Yes. No military, no harassment of some animals. Absolutely. Yes. No. And uh, please, when we get on a site, let's try to minimize our movement, our voices, so that we don't detect animals. And uh, some animals, they see a car, just an object, not a threat. Okay, so it's yes. okay. So if you move in the car, you expose yourself. Oh, okay. okay. And please bring your observation to me so that I can stop and you take pictures. 
questions. Okay. Okay. And uh, welcome as many questions as you can, and uh, there will be always an answer. Okay. Now record that the tree. Okay. 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 Customer service that we received from our guy Poti, and we just loved his attention to detail. And we were able to see many animals that day. But the highlight of the day is spotting the leopard in a tree. And this leopard, according to Poti, had just had an impala for lunch. experience with Puti at uh, Janala Tours in uh, Kasani, Botswana. My favorite part of this game drive was having coffee by the river, the Chobe, Chobe River. And um, it just was wonderful, a wonderful experience. Uh, I highly recommend it. It was a scrumptious little breakfast that we you know, of coffee and biscuits, nothing fancy, but just to enjoy this while looking at the Chobe River, and then you had you know, some beautiful uh, impalas nearby, and just to look across Cho the Chobe River, and it's in Namibia. Wow, it doesn't get better than that. You really must go. So I do want to share this tip about Botswana. If you are going to Botswana in June or July, that's the time that we went, be sure to pack some winter clothing because morning game drives are going to be cold. They're going to be quite chilly. We're talking uh, 6 degrees Celsius or 42 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to pack some winter clothing so that you're able to enjoy your game drive. But if you don't, as you can see, we had blankets that they provided. But um, yeah, you do want to bring your winter clothes for Botswana because it gets quite chilly. That's winter time. Traveling always brings this wonderful experience of meeting new people and making friends and connecting with their culture and so forth. And Botswana did not disappoint. We made friends in this wonderful country. And I highly suggest that if you have the opportunity that you travel to Botswana. Botswana, you shine like a diamond. Thank you for joining us. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. We love to know what you're thinking. Until next time, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.